So guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today we're going to be reviewing another Icon card. We have the 87 rated base Icon Bastian Schweinsteiger who is going to be playing in our team. Fear not, we are not going to be using him as a winger in game. We are going to be using him as a mid. I'm going to be using some custom tactics to where play him in the left centre mid role as you can currently see. That's how we're going to set up in games. So without further ado, let's have a look at this item. Obviously, this is the lowest rated version of Schweinsteiger available in the game. His other variants are actually sent to mid cards, which is where most people are probably going to play all of his cards, to be honest. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, before I continue, I've just noticed I need a German man manager to get him on full chem. So let me just quickly do that. Okay, German manager added. Schweinsteiger is now on the maximum 10 chemistry. So let's have a look at this guy. Six foot high high work rates and three star three star set. Um, in terms of the icon profile, um, obviously spent most of his career at buying. In fact, bang on 500 games. That's a that's pretty mad. Anyway, in terms of player traits, there is nothing to discuss. But in terms of in-game stats, there is quite a good bit of discussion to be had. First of all, his pace for a mid is pretty nice. We are going to be boosting that with the Shadow Chem style though. And I also think his shooting stats are very, very good too. We could certainly play this guy as a cam. And in-game, I might actually do that. So, uh... Yeah, we're going to play him as a centre mid and as a cam by the looks of things. I like the look at 93 shot power and does 91 long shots. Passing also looks to a good standard. 86 short passing and 82 long passing. And his dribbling for a mid also isn't too bad at all. Good agility of 80, nice bounce of 80 also. High reactions of 88 and a good in-game dribbling rating of 85. When it comes to defending though, this card isn't anything too special and that's one of the reasons we've put the Shadow Chem style on him to make him a more well-rounded midfield option. Finally, physically, nothing too much to shout about aside from that stamina which is at an 88 which should mean that this guy lasts the full games without any issues. So uh, yeah, those are the numbers, let's now get into some games and let's test this item out. So for the German's debut, we are up against another German in the form of Rudiger. And other than that, it's just a nice Premier League side. Nothing too stand out, but a couple of decent players in there. Okay, that's fine. Schweinsteiger. He's going to link up with Keita here. Can we get some space to shoot? We might do exactly that. Sadly, the shot gets blocked. Nice tackle there by Tamori. Schweinsteiger gets the ball out of his feet quick. Now there is a chance to counter-attack, and he puts Pepe through. Pepe with a chance. To open the scoring in this game, we go for the dink over the keeper and we execute it nicely. Marcial has put the ball through. There's a chance for Schweinsteiger to get on the score sheet and he still might. Oh wow, as if that got cleared off the line. Havertz, fine, Schweinsteiger who's done well to control the ball there. Now he's put Marcial through and he's got a chance to score and oh wow. We should have scored there. I should have took an extra touch and gone close to go but... I was just feeling in the swing of things and I thought, you know what, it's going to look great if we can finesse this in from here. Gets a bit of a lucky bounce there. But we'll take it as we shrug off Endombele and just keep going. Still going. Oh, we're we going to get caught up here. We might, but it was a nice little run. Going to make a change for the second half there because I do want to try Schweinsteiger out in a more advanced role. So we're going to put him at cam for the second 45. Nice, Pepe puts it through and Schweinsteiger's got there and he's got a bit of pace about him right here. Takes off the shot as well and that fires into the back of the net. I felt I had to take the shot there because the defence was catching up to me and um, yeah, great strike into the back of the net. Oh nice, this is a good break and Schweinsteiger is on the end of it. Here's a chance for him to get another. It's a good drilled shot but it's an even better save from Ariola on this occasion. Oh Schweinsteiger's took it on the volley, oh! That would have been a sensational goal. Ball's played through for Martial. Didn't get the initial bounce, but we do get a second bite at it. And he's done well to keep the ball. Finds Martial, flicks it over the defender, and that's free. Good assist and a nice bit of play from uh, Anthony Martial too. And there is full time. We get ourselves a nice 3-2 victory against the guy who really enjoyed keeping possession. Schweinsteiger involved in the goals as well, picking up one himself and also setting up two. So, uh... Very positive performance. I actually really liked him in that cam role because, uh, yeah, his, his shooting ability from distance feels very, very nice. It's another Premier League themed team for us next, and it's a very defensive midfield for my opponent with, uh, yeah, Van der Beek and also Ndidi in it. Schweinsteiger. Nice bit of play there. And he could create a good chance. Oh, the ball is just 
I completely gone past the goalkeeper. Nice intercept there by Schweinsteiger. Nice, good bit of play, good close control, and Pepe almost got a chance to score and really should have on the second attempt, but the weak foot, right foot finesse just didn't pay off. Straight on him, nice. Good dispossession there by Schweinsteiger, but ultimately we give away the ball after a lazy pass from Pepe. Here's a chance, first time through ball from Schweinsteiger, goes through, there's a chance for Martial, and I've bottled the chip. Havertz, by Schweinsteiger. He's in a bit of space here. Oh, he's collided with his man. Martial's find, found him. And there's a goal. Um, got a bit lucky with that one. Bit lucky with the bounces. But um, a nice finesse to end it off. And uh, we will head in at the break with the lead. Oh, Schweinsteiger. If that goes in, oh, it would have been nice. Now we go forward. I see that run. I see that run. Oh, we just couldn't get it to him. Nice intercept from the opposition. Okay. Oh, Swanshagers didn't really well to control the ball there. Nice, does well to turn his man there. Okay, so that game has now ended, and it's another set of goal contributions from Schweinsteiger, who got himself not just a goal, but also an assist as well. Well, 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 Bastian's time in the club has come to an end. It's now time to review his performances, and all in all, I think this is a good item, but I don't think it's an excellent midfield item. And the first thing I will say is, if you're going to use this guy, definitely would use him as a centre mid or as a cam. I just don't think he's worth having out wide when there are so many good wingers available in the game. So if you're going to use this guy, in my opinion custom tactics are a must now let's break things down let's actually begin with a negative which for me was the defensive capabilities of this card like his tackling just wasn't that good like he's one of them players that go in for a tackle maybe get the ball but then instantly lose it or go in for the tackle and just get shrugged off which is uh, a bit of a shame that's even with the shadow chem style so uh yeah definitely wouldn't use him as a dm his defensive the stats just aren't good enough for that role, in my opinion. As a centre mid, fine, but um, as an out-and-out -out DM, definitely wouldn't use him in that role. Um, I liked his dribbling for a midfielder, that was actually quite nice. His balance and ball control surprised me a lot. If you watch the clips, you'll have seen, like, he's gone to 10 with possession, he's been knocked by a strong player like Ndidi, he's still stayed on his feet and he's still got the ball. That was obviously very, very pleasing. His distribution, for the most part, was good as well. He's not an elite distributor, but he's a pretty good one, and um, he's one of them players who, unfortunately, Unfortunately, is one-footed, so you are going to always have to go off of his right foot, so something to note there. His shooting for a mid, I think, is to a very, very good standard. Big threat, uh, big threat from distance, and inside the box, he can definitely score as well, and you saw that in the clips. He has very, very good shot power, which is a big, big positive. In terms of pace, now, this is something which I found to be just really con inconsistent. Like, one minute he'd feel very quick and have like the ability to track back and break through defences with just pace, but then the others he'd just feel sluggish. It was uh, kind of frustrating, to be honest. Um, positionally, he's you can tell he's got high, high work rates because he's a bit all over the place, to be honest. If you want him to stick in a position, I do advise custom tactics, I custom instructions, sorry. So, uh, yeah, there is that. And then finally, physically, how is the guy? Um, stamina, very good. Didn't seem to tire too much for me, despite running all over the field. And their uh, strength and aggression were to an okay standard as well when protecting the ball. But um, like I touched on earlier, when defending, he didn't seem that strong, which was a, a bit of a shame. But all in all, a decent item, but ultimately not a brilliant one. And one thing I do have to point out about this card is... I don't think it's got like a long lifespan in the game as like a top usable card. Like right now it's fine, you'll get away with a card like this um, because we're obviously very early into the game. But in a couple of months time, I just think there'll be so many better options available in the game. So uh, yeah, hopefully this card's price does indeed drop in price. But um, after using this card, I'm definitely interested in trying out some of the other uh, Bastion Schweinsteiger icon cards. Hopefully the Prime is going to be a very, very good centre mid card. So uh, look out for that. I'll try and review that um, when it's available. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's wrap this video up. If you've enjoyed it, please do leave a like rating on it. In the comments, let me know your thoughts on the item. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in.